George Orwell said patriotism is devotion to a particular place in a particular way of life, which one believes to be the best in the world but has no wish to force on other people. Meanwhile, nationalism is the belief that one's culture and way of life is superior to others and should be the one true way. Americanism, or attachment to or preference for the US, first came about in the writings of Thomas Jefferson in 1797, but the ideology has been around longer than that. It was during the Revolutionary War that a jumble of states became united against a common enemy. After independence and up until the Civil War, Americanism and nationalism focused on a love of purported American ideals and culture, but also nativism after increased Irish and German immigration. This is a common theme in times experiencing more immigration or after tragedies like Pearl Harbor and 9-11. Through public schooling and propaganda, successive new crops of Americans learn what is American and what isn't. A key similarity is a fear of the other, or non-Americans. Thanks to propaganda and selective history, this can mean people who aren't white, Christian, native-born, or straight. Not only does nationalism marginalize minorities, but fierce nationalists often refuse to address America's contradictions and wrongdoings. According to a study by sociologists Bart Bonikowski and Paul DiMaggio, there are three groups of American nationalists, minus the 17% of the sample labeled disengaged. The first are ardent nationalists, 24% of the sample, who feel very close to America. A large majority view Jews, Muslims, agnostics, and naturalized citizens as something less than truly American. Restrictive nationalists, 38% of the sample, were less proud to be American, but are highly exclusionary in what they define as truly American, like the ardent nationalists. This group includes more black and Latino people who lack pride in America because of discrimination, but agree that religion plays a role in being truly American. The amount of members in both of these groups were significantly higher after 9-11. The last group in the study at 22% are creedal nationalists who take pride in America's liberal principles and were open-minded about what it means to be an American. But there are three other types of nationalists that occur predominantly among white Americans. There are Christian nationalists who believe America holds a special place in God's plan and that it's a Christian nation. According to one poll, 62% of Americans completely or mostly agree that God granted America a special role in human history. 52% said believing in God was an important part of being truly American. Another type is that of unhyphenated Americans. According to the census, one in 12 whites don't identify with their European ethnicity opting to be called just American. They are more likely than any other group to be fundamentalist Protestants, and two-thirds of them live in the South. The highest rate of unhyphenated American identity is among young rural whites with limited education, and they are usually conservative. Also on the conservative political side are new nationalists, first coined in the 90s to describe the white elite who pushed the bootstrap narrative, making wealthy people truly American for being hard workers, and they seek to privatize neighborhoods, schools, healthcare, and other facets of society. All three of these nationalist groups have placed restrictions on what it means to be truly American, whether it be economic status, race, or religion, making it easier to trample on the rights of American citizens they see as less than.